name is Kendra, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is different. We're doing a little styling video and I actually asked you guys over on my Instagram, if you don't follow me, you should, because I'm trying to get more active there. But I asked you guys to give me some ideas of places or like instances so that I can make outfits out of them. So I've seen this video going around, I thought it was super fun and I thought I would give it a try. You guys delivered, there was like picnics, museum, girls night out, dancing, like delivered. A lot of them were my friends, but some of them were you guys as well over there. So thank you so much if you responded. I'm gonna bring you along with me. I know this is a little different. This is my bedroom. Sometimes I film in here. My fiance is home and he's in the other room. So that's usually when I film in here, but I'm like, you know, it's very light and bright. I just haven't figured out the right angles in here, but I think this, this looks pretty good. Let me know as well if you like this kind of style. I feel almost like vlogging. Like, is this like, is this a vlog? In my closet now. <laughs> Can you tell? I worked at Target for a little bit because that situation. So a picnic. I feel like to me, a picnic is, you know, you have to be comfortable. You're probably sitting on the floor. I would kind of steer towards a dress myself. If I'm going to a picnic, I'm thinking like, nature park but i'm gonna be sitting on the ground right so it can't be super short i also want to be casual like picnics aren't super dressy or anything like that so whatever the dress is it can't be too dressy i have this old dress from h&m i think it's super cute you could see this with like a different top tied over it because it's kind of a little plain so i'm gonna grab this and then mm, i do love this one this one's good too okay these are my two dress options. Let's find a graphic tee. So I have a couple. You guys know me. I used to be obsessed with graphic tees with like red detailing. So it shouldn't be too hard. I have my Chow Baby, a little one from J. Crew. This could definitely work. Ooh, my fave. And I think this would probably be even better. It says Vogue and has blue and red. So I think that would work. That one's from Shein. I think these two will probably be the best bets. So Chow Baby, we could tie that up over it or we could do the Vogue. Oh, and it's a little bit yellowy. Doesn't really matter. And then shoes. I know just the ones. I would do either of these outfits, to be honest, with just like a white sneaker. These are just a torrid one, like nothing crazy, but I like that they have some extras. A design, they need to be cleaned, but super cute and goes with everything. Okay, so usually I would leave this dress unbelted, but for some reason it was just like calling to me that it needed some like waist definition. <laughs> So I really love this as a picnic outfit. I have this belt that's from Target. It's just like a double loop belt. I think it's from Ava and Viv. Like I said, the dress is old H&M, but like this shape is so easy. <laughs> if you find something like this in a thrift store, you could make something like this really easily. I have this bag. This is old anthro. Love the faux Fendi strap and like the wooden handles. I think it's really, really cute. And it draws in the shoes because of course you would have to bring a little sun hat because like what if it got like really really hot out <laughs> this is just like a really cute outfit this bag is deep enough for a wine bottle i know it doesn't look like it it sticks out just a little bit but <laughs> this is the perfect bag for just like bringing a couple little snacks or things like that and you have your hat and you're just on your way i am wearing biker shorts underneath so that i'm not like flashing people on this picnic <laughs> and then again sneakers make it really really easy to walk around in the grass. You're not like worried about bugs and you can always, you know, take them off when you're on the blanket and slip them back on afterwards. So, so cute. What do you guys think of this outfit? Would you wear this to a picnic? But I'm gonna show you that one other outfit that I could definitely see working for a picnic. I think we're going for these little sporty sandals. They look disgusting, so I wear them all the time, but I think it'll just make this look a lot more casual. Accessory-wise, I've gone with the gingham headband to kind of contrast this like stripes. I love a pattern mix, but they're broken up by some white here. We have the Chow Baby t-shirt with the red that pulls in the red from the skirt. I did use this belt again. I have others. It doesn't even really matter. It's just something to break up my waist. And to me, this is a tote bag look. Like this is the look where you're just like cruising along in the park. Like you don't need your full purse, right? Every one of us hopefully has a million of these. I just put books in it so it's heavy. Um, this is just one from H&M. 
There's only one rule of fashion, recycle clothing. Clothes, recycle clothes. Keeping my hair pretty much the same because it's gonna be hot in here, guys. And then the little sandals, the little sports sandals. This sandal's a little better. Beep. Very casual. This dress is a little bit shorter than the last one. It hits me like at an okay length. I wish it was a bit longer, but it's totally fine. I don't think I'm gonna get used to the looks for the rest of this, but I had two different visions. The other one was like a nice, classy, cute picnic. This is like a chill reading and some like PBJ sandwiches kind of picnic. You feel? I feel. <laughs> Okay, so next we have a museum date. Now, I'm thinking a skirt. I think museum dates are really, really cute. So maybe something a little bit more artsy. I have so many accordion skirts, but I'm thinking the sea phone and it's like calling my name. So, and then again, I'm assuming summer, right? Like everything here is summertime at least, but also like intellectual, right? Because it's a museum. So maybe the mock neck a tank top mock neck. Ooh, I do love a pattern with that color. Like something like this. Tie it up really cute in the front. Ooh. All right, these are my two top options. This is a skirt, and then we have to figure out which one of these tops. All right, so these are the props I've already used. Now, our base, sea foam accordion skirt. So pretty. You can do a lot with this. It has a lot of body and texture. I think it would be beautiful for a museum. And then I can't decide if we want to go really simple and play up accessories and jewelry with a mock neck, just like that. <laughs> or if we wanna go patterned button up from Zara, just like tied in the front over the skirt. And again, we could still play up accessories, but those are my two ideas. So I'll try them both on for you, but I think it's so cute for a museum. Let's see. Okay, so shoe wise, we have these pink little sliders. I wear these all the time. These are just a little torrid find. I know what you're thinking, like you're wearing a seafoam skirt and pink sliders, but with my, cute little bag. This one is a Michael Kors bag and I have this fun strap on it. <sighs> Look at this. Okay. Let me take those off. I'm wearing this belt again, but literally just because I don't have another belt, I think this would be so pretty if you had like a silk scarf that was like long enough to wrap around your waist as a belt. Like something break this up, but not just like a black gold belt. But that's all I had. On my head, I'm doing pearls. We're going a little classy, but juxtaposing it with the largest hoop earring you've ever seen, right? So it's just like the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe, but then also pearls, you know? I was gonna do necklaces, but I felt like it was kind of a lot even with the mock neck. So imagine just like glasses hanging there. Oh my gosh, you guys know the drill. Same belt from Target. Skirt is an H&M accordion skirt. I have a ton of these. I'll link them down below. They always have them. This, in my opinion, is like, one of the best investments you can make in your wardrobe is a skirt like this because it's so versatile. And then we just have this black mock neck. This is an anthro one. It's a pink bag. Pulling in the pink shoes. And I went sliders just so it's like, yes, you dressed up, but you kind of kept it casual. It's really cute, gives you a chance to get a pedicure. Um, I would probably do like a gold watch. I don't actually have a gold watch right now. I've been only wearing Apple Watch, but I think this is such a classy little museum fit. You have so many different elements going on. You're practical, you're comfortable, but you still feel very like feminine. And then you just have some like nice fun touches that are like, oh yeah, art. I don't know why pearls make me think art, but they do. So yeah, this is what I would wear on a museum date. I did try the outfit with the polka dot top. I just don't love it. It's a little tight up here. I'd have to change my bra situation, but like, I feel a little too tea tree. I think because it's the midi skirt and a button down, which is a little bit too much like, and less like date. And especially if it's on my first date and she looked like this. Like, I, I just don't think it's like the perfect museum date outfit. I think the last one definitely is way better, but this is an option if you're wanting to like, walk it down and be like really, really modest. I think this one, would be cute as well, but love a polka dot and a color pop, but not my first choice. Okay, so another person recommended a first date outfit just in general, and I think I'm gonna go with denim and like kind of cool girl outfit, so. <laughs> It looks like I love denim. I really don't. I just I had to wear denim for Target. So I would like pick up denim wherever I could. I'm thinking these like, I'm so afraid the whole pile's gonna fall. Okay, these American Eagle curvy mom fit denim. And then we're gonna go over here to my white section. And I'm going to pull out a blouse of the ages. This, you can't even really see it. You can kind of get a peek. 
there's embroidery. It's super cool. I don't even think I need some extra options for this one because I know how I want to be presented on first date. Our accessory pile just keeps growing. Now, mind you guys, I have not been on a first date, maybe like ever. My fiance and I have been together since high school. So yeah, I would wear curvy mom denim, like distressed, very cool girl, right? And then to just solidify the like jeans and white button down trope, but mine is way cooler, right? So we have these embroidered sleeves, so stinking cool. This blouse is from H&M, but it's like the H&M premium and it was from forever ago. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I know you're probably looking at this and being like, wow, that's like a lot, but I wanna be casual, but I also want them to know that I'm a lot in general. So imagine like dating someone and thinking like, oh, they're like really calm and cool and collected because what they wore on the first date. And you get to know them, you're like, oh no, they're like not like that. So I would want to put my best foot forward. Also, my body forward. Like, I have this weird thing about, I mean, I've been with my fiance forever, so like whatever. But in my mind, we all have it. Where you think people don't really know what you look like. And so I imagine, and I thought about this, if I was on Tinder or any of these like dating sites, like Plenty of Fish, I would feel really self-conscious about the fact that like, I'm a plus size, like, you know, fat woman. And I would want people to know that going into it so they don't think I'm like catfishing them. So wearing something like this and like showing up fully myself, I think would just make me feel most comfortable. So I know that like, I'm not hiding anything. This is what I look like. This is my essence that I give off. And yeah, so like I said, old H&M top, it's one of my favorites. Honestly, it doesn't fit super well anymore, but like, I'm gonna keep it till I die. Just the curvy mom jeans, I'll pan down. This is a different belt. This one has a little bit more of a Western vibe, which I kind of love with the sleeve. I feel like it gives a lot of drama. And then I paired it with this woven black bag, black in the belt, black in the bag, super cute. I got a little necklace going on here, just a little huggy earring. Like I like to accessorize, but with something this big, like you have so much going on in the sleeve, I think keeping everything else pretty simple makes sense. And then, like I said, we have the denim. I'm showing my full self, this is what I look like my body, everything like that. And oh, you can't see it. I just cuffed the bottom of the jeans a little bit and just threw on those same white torn sneakers just to make it again, a little bit more casual. I'm already doing a lot other places. So giving them a break. But the shoe shows my character and who I am, but also it's chill, it's cool girl. Very Kendra, very me. This one's hard because I imagine someone else looks at this and they're like, Oh my God, I would never wear that on a first date. So this one really just kind of depends on you, your preferences, what you like, but this is what I would wear on a first date. Okay, and then next two kind of things. One was 70s disco and like, oh, I wish I could, I have nothing literally nothing that I think would be 70s disco worthy. Like I just, I don't think I could. So, but someone else said dancing. So kind of similar in the same vein. Let me show you what I have. We have this dress and when I think dancing, I'm like, are we like dancing, dancing? We're at like a nice upscale hotel bar and then there's like a band playing and we decide to slow dance. This is what I'm wearing, right? But my brain is thinking, well, what if they're thinking like more young people dancing, cool dancing? Let me see. Okay, so pretend I have a blowout, right? This is the dress. I know there's a stain. I need to get this dry cleaned and like it's been so long, but oh, it's beautiful. This is the dress. I think it'd be beautiful. Like I said, I'm thinking like a fancier dinner. We go to a bar that's like a little bit higher end where there's dancing or, you know, after the opera, we go to this like, or, I don't know, hotel bar dancing. Like this is just a very, I would probably pair it just like the classic black heels. These are pretty tall, like a good five inches, four inches. Oh, that makes me really tall. I really don't wanna put these on, but I'll do it for you. And these heels are way too tall and my feet need a pedicure, but this would be the dress. Honestly, I didn't have much else in my wardrobe and I can't imagine what other kind of dancing I would be doing, to be honest. I wouldn't like go out and like club dance. I just really love this. I think it's so pretty. I love the colors, just the black and white. And then it has these brown wooden buttons. And then these lotus flower gold drop earrings that I think are beautiful. So again, if I had a blowout, It'd be gorgeous. If we're talking a ladies date night out, which was another suggestion, I think I'd have to kick it old school, right? So we have a midi skirt slip style. This is from Anthro. 
and a classic puff sleeve top this one is h&m it's a little bit more structured has some like beautiful eyelet detail like i think this is just so classic in me and if i'm going out with my best girlfriends like i just want to look pretty have a good time with them and i think i'd be really comfortable in this and i would have to go with my trusty dusty little strappy sandals they're getting so worn but like i love these so much i'm not gonna put them on we're nearing the end <laughs> but i think this is just like such a perfect girls night outfit i feel super comfortable I drew in the white with my little pearl headband. I'm doing these like golden drops. Um, they're just like really pretty pressed metal drops, especially for a girl's night. I just would feel very comfortable in this. I love the shape of it. And it might be like, oh, well, it's like a body tight skirt, but it's not. This skirt is cut on a bias. It's from Anthro. And if you guys can tell here, like I have so much room around my hips. This waistband is elastic. Like this is just like a really comfy, beautiful skirt. Like I always know that I have it two colors. I know, always know that I can like pull it out and I'll feel amazing. <laughs> so yeah, it just makes sense. And then at the bottom, it kind of just slightly tapers off right around the half, making it midi length. This is like my preferred state. This is me on a good day. And then I think I would do the black cross body just because I want something easy and small in case we like go do something after. Like I would just want this to like be able to kind of tuck behind me. And a lot of my other bags are large. So just like a little, little cross body never hurt anybody. Okay, and then the last outfit, I didn't show you a flat leg, but this one was inspired by the one and only, our good friend John put Slay as per usual, and I just thought, you know, let me do something a little bit more trendy, because that, to me, Slay is very trendy. <laughs> and this is what I came up with, it's just like a cute, fun outfit, this skirt is from Shein, I might still be able to link this. This top I actually made out of a much too small dress, so I'll link that tutorial. Um, it has these beautiful buttons running up and down, and I liked the like brown tones that we were living in. Necklaces, I did these too. This one has like a reddish like garnet situation going on, and then just it's like flat gold, big old hoops, because <laughs> that's very true to me. And then I did a green velvet headband. I just thought I would do something a little bit more fun and trendy. The other things are very me. This is like something that I think is so cute, but maybe not in my comfort zone. So I thought it was perfect to end the video off on for Slay. And we can't forget the bag because this one was literally so perfect. The cream and then the brown tones in here, like, oh, yes, please. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Leave suggestions down below, like these ones, date night, picnic, like that kind of stuff. And I will do a part two to this that's more casual. So you can think of more casual settings that you want me to style outfits for. Leave them down below in the comments. This was so much fun and I'm so glad that I put this together. I would have never thought to put this like cheetah top with this brown skirt, but I feel like it works, the tones work all the gold yeah this was a lot of fun i want to start mixing in more styling content for you guys just because it's so fun to film and i feel like it gives me a chance to kind of express myself a little bit more rather than just like always doing hauls don't worry there's still gonna be a haul every single week but i think i'm gonna be mixing in styling videos on fridays whenever i can so yes thank you guys so much for watching if you want to shop any of the things that i was able to link they'll be down below and if you want to shop any of my previous hauls all in one place, just head to my like to know it. I'll have that link down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.